Earlier tonight, uh, our officers, Texas Tech Police Department, uh, did a welfare check on a student. Um, during the welfare check, they found some suspicious uh, material. Uh, the student was taken into custody, was brought back here per our standard operating procedures to the department to be debriefed and processed to be taken to jail. Um, somehow during the debriefing, um, the suspect produced a nine, well, a weapon, have yet to be determined the details of that, um, and mortally wounded one of our officers, uh, mortally, yeah. Um, and uh, the, he escaped from that point. Um, and LPD, Sheriff's Office, and including some federal agencies helped us with the apprehension. Um, and just about 30 minutes ago, I believe, it's kind of a time crunch and lost in time here, um, one of our officers uh, saw the suspect in the C4 parking lot, which is on the east side, um, west side of the stadium, uh, got in a foot pursuit, uh, tackled the officer, tackled the suspect, took him into custody, um, and at that point, we turned him over to uh, LPD uh, to take him into custody and to take him into the jail. Um, and that's the details of what I know. I will not be releasing the officer's name at this time because we still have to notify the, the family. Um, and that's been a little bit of an issue for us at the present time, but we're working on it. I would just say that at this time, the family of the deceased officer will be in the prayers of the entire Texas Tech community. In the coming days, we'll be, we'll be offering our full support to that family. I want to express my appreciation to the Texas Tech Police Department, the Lubbock Police Department, the Sheriff's Department, and other local, state, and federal agencies that have assisted us during this tragic event. I'll be releasing a communication to the Texas Tech community that will include detailed information about support services available to students faculty and staff. Classes and operations will resume at the normal hours tomorrow morning.